This is the sixth day in a row there have been more than 1,000 cases. This time last week we saw very similar numbers. Other than a few days with dips in cases, the amount of new cases is still increasing out there. In the last couple of weeks, we are seeing the highest numbers of reported cases since this all started back in March. We mentioned the percent positive just moments ago, but some people may be a little confused about what that really means. Julia Kaufman breaks it down. Today, DHEC has released new coronavirus numbers. As of Monday, South Carolina has a positive trend of 15.5%. The new data tells us that out of the total 8,520 people that were tested on Sunday, 1,320 of them tested positive for the virus. In a recent teleconference, South Carolina's epidemiologist, Dr. Linda Bell, explained why DHEC tracks percent positive trends. We want to make sure that people understand that Doing testing doesn't create new cases, so that when we test, we are finding um, cases that are already out there. And the way we assess whether or not the, the testing is simply identifying more people um, is we look at the percent positive of all the tests that we perform. Dr. Brent Powers, chief medical officer at Lexington Medical Center, told us on Friday that their positivity rate has doubled. As physicians order COVID testing based upon symptoms, uh, we historically have had a positivity rate in around, anywhere around 10 to 12 percent, and here recently it is uh, close to 20 to 24 percent. This graph by DHEC shows South Carolina's percent positive trends from May 31st to June 27th. On June 1st, 8.7 percent of people that were tested for COVID-19 came back positive. On June 27th, 20.1 percent of people tested were positive. When the percent positive of the total test that we perform goes up as it has been over the past um, two weeks or more, then that tells us that that's a sicker population. We are testing more widely, but we're actually finding more people in the population who are sick. The data and information can be hard to understand. We believe um, there is more COVID activity in the community. And, you know, it's hard to know, is it a bias because more tests are available? Um, but we're also seeing more patients present for COVID-like symptoms. The percent positive trend helps put new cases into perspective. With the, the total number of cases going up and the percent positive going up, that's a strong indication that we need more prevention and control measures in our communities. Julia Kaufman, News 19 WLTX. If you would like to learn more about the percent positive trends and the latest numbers, simply head to our website, WLTX.com. We also have a breakdown of the cases by age groups tonight. DHEC says right now the highest number of cases, 21%, are being reported among people ages 21 to 30. 15% are those ages 31 to 60. And the least number of cases currently among those who are 10 years of age and younger and those over the age of 81.